Hello, my name is Minivans94, and I would like to welcome you to part 54 of uh, Days Gone. So, last episode, we just did one uh, one mission with Sarah. Uh, we went, grabbed some diffuser or something from the from the college here, which I still will have to go back to at some point and take care of the nests. <laughs> um, but since we're right here at Wizard Island, we have two missions, a little side quest, just listening to what's-his-face talk, and then we will meet with the doctor and uh, kind of go from there. So. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war as we take the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that yeah, place that there right. will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels, and we are coming. Yeah. Company yeah, yeah. dismissed. Okay, <clears throat> I don't know how I only got 66%, maybe because I did move the camera, I don't know. But let's, uh, let's go see, ooh, Taylor, yeah that's right, he lost near Denty. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some uh, some saddle sores or something? Need the doctor to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit is tight. I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the doc. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. Alright, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece... I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy ablandando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. Alright, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? 
Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and cover no, some No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I followed you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. He's dismissed, Corporal. Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I... Okay. And, and how am I not getting 100%? I'm not... It's just a cutscene. Like, did I not go to it quick enough? Whatever. Okay, yep. Still just that. Yeah, looks like we're gonna do that right now, so, sure. Getting through all the missions this episode, it looks like. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. No, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath See, that I could check out. if you can't get what I need there, you'd... I think I would learn. I actually think I know where you could get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an yeah, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain, yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You... Cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see you this ship. So where are we? <clears throat> okay, so we're not going back over, maybe? What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once, you should know. That was different. How? Well, there were more people in the world, I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline, or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? Oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when 
you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. Again, just wanted to stop trying to get the story. Didn't they have that conversation though? Is that like once I first got in, had to remove it to go nomad or whatever? Maybe not. I might be wrong. Oh, was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Yeah, this is uh, this is where we came up, huh? Oh, hey, people! Oh, it's these guys again. Hey, shut it off! Oh, maybe not. You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's going to report you. I mean, how's Matt going to take that? Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spend all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Um, uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know, Boozer's arm got fucked up, and I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's that's when I really wanted to. That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's that's what kept me going. I figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better. You know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? We must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tielsen Tunnel. to move that out of the way. My god, what the hell is that? 
That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? The Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They cut themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Wow, powerful. It, it, it seems so weird because we were dealing with the Rippers so long ago that the people up here don't know. Okay, hang on. It's gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. I feel so weird kind of being on this side again. Kinda. Yeah, it's right up here. Oh, uh, should you worked here. I would think you know how to get to work. Wow. I never thought I'd see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. There's a solar ad in the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Yeah, I'll show you. Like you said, power's still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. <laughs> it's not really that impressive. Aerie's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Who's Aerie? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh my god! What is it? Nothing! It's... What the hell? Look at this! There's so much food here! Sarah, this should be... Right it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power's still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. Other than workers. <gasps> See? Come on. Hopefully that gate shuts. Infected. It's 
what's made them so hyper aggressive makes them a pain in my ass I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet okay come on Hi. what the hell happened Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Let's go, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, I think so, right? And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Zuko. I don't know I wasn't here. It's probably a good thing. Otherwise, you would have probably been one of them. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and th that was with weekly maintenance. And <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? I think it's that, uh, that security guard that we, we had issues with many episodes ago when we were doing some flashbacks. Damn it, I, I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir, you know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? I think they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My god, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you and we're not here to stay! God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Corberdale's safety protocol. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice. I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people, and if Jim's in there, he's gonna let Jim, us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up? Deacon, that, that was part? so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Your last login. Please wait. 
See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Down. Mother fucking. You were saying? Yeah. Nothing's worth stopping one day. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point out that. Okay. <clears throat> Your voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Yeah. Finally. It's clear. Coming. Something out of this. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little bit of looking around. Clear. Coming. Alert. Alert. Use this. Nine one one has been called. We gotta get up the police stairs on their way. way. All right, I'm with you. What do you say now, huh? Locked. Hold on. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker, security has been breached. Alert. The Cloverdale facility Alert. is this in lockdown. Is Repeat. Alarm. Override, ID 2007659. Override. Security protocol Alpha 761 has been overridden. Okay, shut the fuck up already. They must not have locked out inner security. You ready? Warning. Yeah, this time. Let me go in first. <laughs> hey, this time, we go in together. Okay. Shit. Snipers, they're on the roof. Oh, good. I did not realize... We just gotta wait. ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice response. Well, ready? Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. That's my 
make sure it's clear. Yeah, I'm on it. Yep, I'm definitely gonna look around. It's clear in here. Same here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Okay, it's clear. We're waiting for you. Alert. Alert. This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2077659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Warning. Sarah Deadly Irene force Whitaker is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey. Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. We need Alert. a better plan. Alert. Nine. Oh, yeah, you got one? Called. Well, maybe. Uh, like, is there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Okay, there's a ledge out here. You should be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I don't want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Okay, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. What's that? The door's locked up. Remember? All trespassers. Oh, shit. Come on. Deadly Come on, I have an idea. What? Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what are you doing? Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, I can get you a temporary access code. All right, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Uh, is that right? Yeah, let's go. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Hopefully, well, you guys won't probably hear it, but, uh... Here, I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay, hold on. But, um, yeah, we had the alarms Ready? from the game kind of yep. going off, and then we had the, the monthly, uh, Wait until I get their attention, then you go in. Tornado sirens going off, so I had to stop for a second. Like, oh no. Okay, go. Hey. Deacon Lee St. John. ID 5429009. Good morning. Deacon Lee St. John. Welcome to the Dale Research Iron Man. This is your this. first login. Please. Come on. Table voice. Shut the fuck up. Damn it, Tim, listen to me. <laughs> okay. Here we go. What the hell with you? Bring him to you. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police 
Orcs are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. All right, looks like it's just the one guy left. Jim. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on. Pants. Don't shoot. Pants. Don't shoot him. Give up. Get up. Don't shoot him. We need him alive. God damn it, I said hands! Uh, all right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. <laughs> all the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? You didn't want that, did you? We just couldn't take turns. Get up. Wait, wait, wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you, Jim. Yes, we know what we're doing. You don't have to do this. Let me go. I'm sorry. We just can't take the risk. <laughs> Come on. I want to get the hell out of here. Wow. It's all true. I didn't want to believe it. What are you talking about? This is my fault. I, I don't understand. You should fault. have seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grapefruit here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? Who's David like Gorman. He, he was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and he wanted to be the next edward snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing david gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit. And I didn't listen to him, Deacon. I told him that he was being paranoid. And he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here. Well, I, don't, I don't understand. What do you mean? I pieced it together myself a little while later. The night that I was stabbed, I, 
I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell, and I went to, to go try and find David, but he was already gone. He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He, he must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected, and he didn't even know it yet. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected, and then they all got on planes, and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could you understand. Have stopped them? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs> Uh, hold on for a second. Sorry. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Leg Camp know. <sighs> you think we could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. That was powerful. Oh no, that was the wrong thing. I just gotta jimmy that door. Oh, that was cool. I did not know uh, my tractors That's could do it. that with the with the crows. Honestly, it would have been kind of nice to know that sooner. Scrap. Okay. That makes sense. Anything else? No. Mm. Uh, 
loser, it's it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp. Is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, loser, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the river... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food. Corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike how he sent someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. Rosemary, I found her. That is... <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back? What, to Lost Lake? No. I'm not gonna get into that right now. Dick? Yeah. Tell her... Tell her... To be safe, okay? To be safe. Loser. Loser, loser. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Dick? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. You made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good. Good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, could you tell... You know what? Listen, Ricky, here we go. Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why you're not back yet. Tell him, uh, tell him we're on our way. The Colonel wants to speak to you. Sorry, Captain, you're breaking up. Uh, heading out right now. St. John out. If I can take a second and grab the scrap from these vehicles, I probably should. Because I don't know if I'll ever see these vehicles again. That's a uh, hard hitting stuff. Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. <laughs> hey, 
It's clear. Are you going to come out and eat something? Yeah, just a second. Good thing I had a soaking wet. warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something? Or? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. There. What's up with you? St. John, come in. This is Corporal St. John. Uh, what's up, Captain? I need you to head back to command. Stat. Meet me at the infirmary. The infirmary? What's wrong? There's been an incident. I'm on my way. Okay, what the hell, huh? Lieutenant Whitaker, uh, are you there? Sarah? Come in. Sarah? Oh, God damn it. <laughs> oh, 
Okay. All right. Well, that is uh, that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, I would appreciate a like. Subscribe for more Days Gone. That was a heavy, heavy hitting episode. So, but uh, yeah. Like I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like. I feel like we're getting pretty close to the end. But, uh, we'll see. Like I said, uh, but, uh, ooh, I don't even know how I want to end this. <laughs> but, yeah, uh, uh, until my next episode, I'll catch you guys next time. <laughs>